Now y'all, it's your boy DC Curry. You back in live with this race. This race coming to you live from Uptown, the new improved Uptown Comedy Corner in Hateville, Georgia. Uptown. This race where our motto is no hate, no fear. But no fear. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away. And we ain't doing no running. And we ain't got the runs. <laughs> Even though, depending on what you ate over the holidays, you may have the runs. <laughs> I had them one day, Tim. Did you have them? I did not. No, you did no, not have no, them. No, you did not have eaten at your mother in law's house. I did not eat at my mother in law's house. You eat at your mother in law's house, you always had a run. <laughs> <laughs> That's intentional. That would be intentional. I mean, if you got at your mother in law's house, that, that is not a mistake. At he had a run, he had the squirts. That's yeah. all. Oh. This race, where our motto has also been uh, respect all. Fear not. And fear not. <laughs> boy, we got house food tonight, boy. They must have known it was payday, man. <laughs> I didn't know. But what's got. going on, man? All my comrades, my drinking partners saying they, they, they. Turned over new leaves. They on the wagon. New yeah. year, new me. That shit two ain't gonna weeks. last a, two, two weeks. Two weeks. Right. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, by Valentine's Day, they'll be back to the ball cell. Before Valentine's Day. <laughs> I was going wow. on with that JJ until Bo said he ain't drinking. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell like, you what, I got it. Wait a minute now. G hey, I, Jesus oh. must have came back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it to go it sounds like a New Year's wager. You're going to try to go a year? Try to go a year. Okay. Bo, Bo, no, no, don't put that kind Why of pressure on Why go a year yeah. and then come back to Try it. to go three months. No, I just, I'm just i trying to write more. You wanna, I want to write at a At the meetings, head. they say one day at a time. Write a level head mm. this time. Okay. I gave it Martin Luther King. Yeah, 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 try, try three months. Try a month. Try two weeks. I want to go Try tomorrow. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. He say he want to learn how to write again. He ain't been able to read his writing in the last year. He's like, I want to be able to read my own writing. Don't need to write. Nigga, just be again. talking. Be drunk. But I'm proud of you, bro. I'm proud uh, of thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you, man. Yeah, Bo we need. Bo here still drinking. Yeah, I'm going to still drink. As-salama. Bacon. Salam. As-salama bacon. As-salama bacon. And a bacon salami. It's cold as it is. Hey, D.C. Tim wouldn't have a drink with me. I'm not drinking now. New Year. I'm still. I'm still. I'm still doing other things. Tim so. stopped drinking last year, right? <laughs> it's all right. You still you popping pills? Right? I, I did. Uh, no, I, I, I. It was more I of a. I ain't even gonna put the pastor on the spot. Because <laughs> he like yeah. pastor. Like I ain't gonna never stop no, drinking. No, no, you got to. But don't tell the people that. Hey yeah. man, look, hot tea is always great. Right. That's right. <laughs> That's Everything. all you got, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> we even got. We even got the master in here, the Donald Trump of of the comedy corner. <laughs> Man. Wow! On all wow. the property. <laughs> I can't all say nothing, man. I, I, I mean, I got, I had to, I had to bow down to this man that y'all got in the studio tonight. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, his team lost. Angelo, Angelo, Lolo. <laughs> I hate his Go shirt. Go blue. I hate his shirt. I hate everything. Brian, Brian is in his little I football feelings. Because uh, Alabama got the ass. I actually, I enjoyed watching them get their ass with. You know, it was I, a good game. It was a real good game. I, I had no idea how many people hated Alabama <laughs> until <laughs> after the game. Really? I promise you. I knew I knew there were some and people that didn't like it. Downstairs at the Cigar Lounge, I was in Chicago, but downstairs at the Cigar Lounge, it was packed for that game. That's why I was. But when Alabama was going into the end of the game, they were losing. Man, they vacated the premises, bro. Oh, well, hey. you know, well I, well, I came up because I wanted to hang out with but yeah, Alabama fans, we ain't going to sit around and take it. They're going to they gonna, they gonna well, vacate. Well, y'all took it. Michigan put their foot in y'all. Ooh. Head. Yes. They made plays. It was a good game. They made plays. They made plays oh, at the end, man. Oh, my gosh. Good to see Wade Ball, who, who would have been a football player if he was in shape. <laughs> I played football once upon a time. Did back, you mind? Way back, like he in high was. school. Live. High school. Yeah, O line. And what happened? Thought he was the ball. Well, you know, I, I was smart enough where I ain't had to beat on my body that much. And I was like, I'ma just go to college anyway. Well, come on, man. You just stuck with it, man. Yeah, no. Nah. See kind of money these boys making now, boys your size except muscle. Right, right. That's a lot. That, that's a big exception right there. That's, <laughs> there that's a large exception. Even right there. technician extraordinaire, Will. Wouldn't have a drink with me. What's that about, Will? <laughs> 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 but what I, but, 
But what I'm asking is, what's different? <laughs> what I'm asking is, what changed? <laughs> Mike, you gonna have a shot with me? Mike do a shot with me. He you. gonna do yeah. one. Cause see, hey, Mike is Mike. the king of moderation. You never see Mike too high or too unhigh. Yes, I have. Huh? Yeah, we did. Oh, really? yeah, we have. We no, have. We've seen yeah. evidence of him being high. What? No, no, no. We no, 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 no. Some of the paintings he's done. I got. Like, oh, <laughs> 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 I be got now. That look like me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Mike did that. <laughs> You didn't know those were Mike's paintings? No, I'm saying Mike has always been the model citizens. I've never seen Mike drink or oh, smoke. No, 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 no. I'm did. just saying, how y'all gonna tell me what my high is to do? I'm this? telling you, I'm yeah. not telling you that. I'm telling you, as a minister of the gospel, <laughs> you should have more, uh, uh, be able to uh, insight. Uh, insight. Have, a, yeah. have more yeah. discernment, uh, uh, more right. discernment on yeah. people. You should be able to, uh, what they call it? Uh, look at a person and tell more. The DC than out of all the things he could have got high to work get on. Get what it was. I got to work on when it comes to Mike. <laughs> Mike is an alcoholic, man. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> I don't want to put his business in the streets. <laughs> but DC, Mike? Yeah. out of all the things Mike could have got high on, get what it was. Mushroom. Edibles. It's big as he was eating something that. that got it. Mike is kind of like eccentric. He's kind of like a like a is eccentric drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy! <laughs> Bullhead, what's going on? The Honorable Bullhead, he had drank. Are you supposed to be drinking as a Muslim? I, I mean, none of us are supposed to be drinking. drinking. Oh, I'm supposed to be drinking. I'm bad. Yeah, don't try no, to. No, no, don't try to do that. What is that? <laughs> Oh, none of us. What a religion that is. I'm yeah. Baptist and I own a bar. I'm yeah. totally drinking. <laughs> well, you know, you know, I spend a lot of time in Turkey, and right next to the mosque, they got a bar. Is that right? Yeah, so you go say your prayers, and then you go get Plus, drunk. Then you go back the, and say your prayers and forgive Muslim yourself. It's not the holiday season, is it, Christmas? They do. Are they Kwanzaa? It's what do you guys do? No, it's I just I just go outside and say happy birthday Jesus. That's <laughs> yeah, all I do. Well, Ramadan is time to clean. Ramadan. Yeah, yeah, Ramadan. Ramadan. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Bo, the Muslim don't even know what the hell. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't celebrated in years. I hated fasting. Yeah. Well, you hate I fasting. You look, I used to hate fasting. You look like you wouldn't oh, be crazy about it. Nah, no, I didn't like I didn't like fasting. And ladies and gentlemen, as usual, the eye candy of the room other than myself. You got to say that about me. She's an actress. She's a civil rights activist. She's a community activist. She's a producer. She's a promoter. She's the she owns a, a line of alcohol. She's a poop Pousse. Pousse. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, the gorgeous. And she smells good, too. I know y'all can't smell her out there, but boy, if you could. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sister JJ. I'm here, another year. Yeah, her voice smell like a flower bed. Listen at her, so humble. <laughs> <laughs> I introduce all y'all, y'all thought. You ain't get no accolades. Rattling off your accolades yeah, and stuff. None of ours. But what did she say? I'm here. Yeah. Well, you and did give all her accolades and for thank her. You, thank DC. you, DC. <laughs> <laughs> that's the kind of woman you want. Yes. You don't want a woman up talking about, oh, shit, she done. She bragging on herself. I you don't want you want to lay low, <laughs> superstar queen, like Sister JJ. That's right. She's a queen. She's every man's dream, and at some point, I assume she'll find that man. <laughs> T-shirts. <laughs> what y'all laughing at? Y'all are such haters. What y'all laughing at? Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. First of all, she's gonna. She's gonna find him. Tim Black. What y'all laughing at? Y'all such gonna, haters. And you know the problem is he's probably looking for you. Y'all are such yeah, haters. Yeah, he is. Definitely. He's out there looking for you, and he may be in your midst, and you just <laughs> look it over. <laughs> Put your thing on. He might be watching this show every he may single. Be watching. He may be in the room. Y'all right. get up off me. Y'all hate us. He ain't in no room. Good to see you, JJ. How was your holiday? It was wonderful, DC. Thank you. you get what you want for Christmas? Um, I did more giving. Oh. <laughs> he wow. Didn't, you wow. He didn't come around. Who don't want a woman like that? <laughs> she get more giving. That's right. Good. Merry Christmas. My Christmas was good, uh, but pr uh, obviously not as good as yours. Aww. Did you take uh, 
precautions and everything. You yeah. see, you gave, you did more. <laughs> 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 and, Robert, and Robert did that. I like him. He gets all my shit. You yeah, know what I mean? I get it too, but I'm just sitting here, you know, I don't want to get like karate chop because Sister J thinks every time I laugh, it's personal. So I'm trying to like. Well, because y'all, y'all got to care. There's attention. There's attention that, it's a tension that goes on. There yeah. we go again, right? That's, all. That's, all, that's all, all that is. When you hear, I, I think J- Sister up. JJ would be a wonderful second lady. Ooh. What? Of the church? I mean, first lady. No, you know, church. I'm my own first lady. I'm my own first lady. Yeah, right. Big first time. Yeah, I'm I know my that. Own first you know, lady. you know, this is the kind of women that's about to But you can't be a first lady unless the man is a pastor. That nigga ain't gonna never be no pastor. So, which well, means you would always be a son. <laughs> <laughs> or she could be the pastor. You know, you know, Sister JJ ended up starting her own church on your ass. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> she gonna have a first man. Like, uh, uh, pastor Brian. Yes, sir. Holiday, New Year's, man. I saw on the uh, line Richard sent me where Rip Murray was having a big party at the oh, church. Yeah. What did you do on New Year? Um, you celebrate. Uh, I was with friends and family on New Year's, man. Okay, you didn't yeah. go to church. I definitely wouldn't have gone to that one. <laughs> you wouldn't go. Why no? you gotta follow him? Whoa, whoa. Right. Uh, Murray, that's cool. the one that had to do doing the swag. Will Murphy, You're right? But that's the one no, that was doing the swag. Man. Don't throw pop church, shots man. at him. I ain't no pop shots. I'm keeping it real. One hundred. Preachers be hating like Cat oh. Williams in the. Uh, mm. I ain't said nothing about. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Telling well, all. Well, well, go and get to the elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> not you, not you, uh, Waybo. Okay, thank, you, thank, you. thank you for clearing that up. I thought that was my segment. DC on the road tonight, ain't he? He on the yes, road tonight, ain't he? New yeah. year, yeah. new material. Coming, he coming he with the coming heat. for me. He is ready. Nobody. I'm ready. Twenty twenty four gonna be a good year, man. Nobody <laughs> off limits. I'm sure. I'm sure y'all so cat. I did, I got twenty eight messages. I ain't even open yet. What did he say? Something about me. No, <laughs> no. Nah. Everybody, but he let everybody else have it. But but he did mention the, the next Friday cast, so I'm sure that's I'm sure yeah. those those 28 messages have something yeah, to do with you. Yeah, he mentioned 35 people yeah. in the cast. Yeah, say, right, right. He, he didn't mention you, but he did mention what you did not say. What everybody called me for? Ricky Cousin Smiley called you. Listen. Oh, <laughs> Ricky Smiley <laughs> have it. Boy, did he let Ricky Smiley have yeah, it? Yeah, I gotta watch this he next. Let old Ricky have it. Yeah, he let yeah, him have it. Where do you where do you where do you where do you stand on interviews like that, DC? Where you where where people? Well, Cat, my friend. Yeah. Uh, Cat, my friend. Steve Harvey, my friend. <laughs> 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 Steve is like I've said on the show before. He's very sensitive. I talked to Cat Williams after the him and the Steve Harvey blow up. And I said, Cat, come on, man. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. Actually, when, you remember when Steve and Cat were going at it? Mm-hmm. It kind of saddened me, man. Because mm-hmm. before that, you know, the rappers would go at it amongst each other. Mm-hmm. Comics, we always had our beef amongst ourselves. Right. But I think that was the first time it was done out in public. public. Cat Williams versus... Steve Hobbs. So I was, talking to, the world. I was talking to Cat, and I asked Cat, I said, come on, man, what's, what, what's going on? And it's two sides of every story, but Cat's explanation was, he was in a mall one time before we did Next Friday. Cat was in Next Friday. Right. And uh, he was just a working comic. Mm. He had two sons. Uh, they were in a mall, and they saw Steve Harvey. Mm. Steve Harvey's on Steve Harvey's show at that time. His son said, that's Steve Harvey. Cat said, yeah. His sons wanted to go up and ask Steve Harvey for autograph. Cat told him, go ahead. This Cat story to me now. Okay. The boys went up, Steve Harvey, to make a long story short, rejected him. Big time. Though. They okay. came back to Cat. They said, he told us, you know, he ain't doing none of that. And he and the boys went back and told him, Cat Williams, my daddy, and supposedly, Steve said, who the fuck is Cat Williams? <laughs> <laughs> Which at the, pri- at the time was a good question. Mm. Cat told his boy, don't worry about it, come on. Fast forward a year later, when Cat has come to be the Cat, cat that we know him. Yeah. Steve was having trouble selling tickets in Detroit. They added Cat to the show, turned it into Cat versus Steve Harvey's show. Mm. And Cat went out and just... Just ripped the hole in Steve's mm. ass. So that's cat side of stuff. 
Yeah, basically that's how it was. He said he's the reason why Steve Harvey stopped doing stand up. I don't know about all of that. <laughs> but I'm just saying what he said. Yeah, on in this interview, I don't show. He, he but I mean, uh, you know, yeah, it's a said, it's a it's a difficult lying. position for me because I I respect both of them not only on the talent. But on what they've been able to achieve, and you you can argue about the talent, but you cannot argue about their achievements. Both of them have done extraordinarily well. Bo P and I went out. Cat had called us, and Cat was living in was it Swanee? Bo P. Uh, Brazelton. 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 And Bo P went out and spent a day with Cat, and Cat said, "DC, I want to talk to you." And Cat stood up at his house and talked. For seven hours straight, <laughs> didn't sit down, and and some of it made sense. <laughs> some, some, seven hours, and he had an opinion about straight. everything. And he said, "DC, what you think?" And I said, "He said, but before you tell me what you think, <laughs> let me tell you what I think, and you may not think what you think no more." <laughs> And when nigga finished talking for about two hours, he said, now what you think, DC? I said, nigga, I don't even remember what the fuck the question was. <laughs> but he my man, but he did a uh, revealing uh, what have you with Shannon Sharp interview. And apparently, I haven't watched the whole thing. I watched about 20 minutes of it. And uh, he, said some, he said some controversial shit. Yeah, he did. Why, why do you think he has this hostility toward certain people because there are there are still a lot of comedians you in think it's field. hostility or you think it's reality i think Kat, i mean they both can be they both can be the same confidence <laughs> confidence also can be mistaken as hostility somebody who is o overly confident i feel right. like cat williams right. knows that he's an intelligent individual um mm -hmm. he i mean he writes all of his own stuff he produces all of his oh, own yeah you think right. he writes all of his own stuff that's what he that's says what he said. Uh oh, that's he, what he said. He, does, he doesn't write all this stuff. He oh. said nineteen and shows. He my boy, nineteen. He my boy. Oh, 19. But. Okay. He and by all boy, means, I, I'm not falling for I being know hostile. Some writers, I know somebody used to write for him too. I, I know some. Oh really? Him now. <coughs> I'm not knocking him. You're right. Because right. you know most of them had that. Huh? You know Arsenio, my buddy, he had fourteen writers. <laughs> you know uh, yeah. what's his name? Uh, writes for Cat. Uh, D. Militant used to. D. Militon used to, but the other boy Red. in L.A. Not Red Grant. Uh, another boy. I, I, I know Joey. Oh, D. Militon oh. used to. That's cool. Joey. Joey. Uh, Joey Wells. Joey Wells. Mm. Yeah. Right, oh, really? cat. But I ain't knocking. Okay. I mean, that's yeah. that's that's uh, you know when you get yeah, up you there. You need like a team. That. Yeah, you, you, need, you a need a team. team. I mean, I, yeah, I, I, I never had one. I had uh, uh, Sean Miller wrote a little bit for me way back in the day, but it, it just didn't work out. When I was on Comic View. They had a budget for writers. I said, man, I don't need no damn writer. Give me that money for wardrobe. Mm -hmm. and, then, <laughs> and that's what they, oh, that's that's what they did. Yeah. I, I never had they a writer. Got a hip with yeah, punch up. Himself, but he I ain't mad say, at anybody that does. DC, he now, did. I've written for some other people. I've written for Tim. I've seen him use my material. Right. <laughs> <laughs> DC, he did say that he had one guy that helped him. <laughs> What did you say, JJ? He said, he, he, Tim won't stop laughing. He said he did have one guy that helped him cultivate his jokes. What are you talking Mark, about? Mark Carey. Mark, Mark Carey, Curry, yeah. yeah. Mm. He said he did have him to but do something. But I ain't mad at it. That ain't nothing like But he said that he wrote his own stuff. Uh, most successful comic. When you see them shows like Kimmel, Kimmel, uh, Jimmy Kimmel, Jay Leno. Mm -hmm. Jay Leno. Them guys got a staff, man. Yeah, right. There's no way in hell you could write that much shit. And do that monologue day night, day, night, daily. Right yeah, after night. night, 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 night. Yeah. Well, you know, so what's uh, the big deal uh, if, you, if you write your own stuff or if you start off writing your own stuff and then you get to a point where you have writers? What's 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 the big deal? Ain't no big deal. Yeah. Okay. No. Because like I'm hearing like it's a big deal. No, well, no, writers, no, writers no, are very no, important. No. Writers make yeah. a lot of money in Hollywood. Right. Right. And, and then, you know, because I've written for some very famous people mm -hmm. that don't want to, and I'm not interested in telling it. Right. But uh, the thing about writing, this is why I used, to, I used to shy away from performing in Hollywood. They talk about the Laugh Factory and the Comedy Store because a lot of the comics that are very successful, they have writers. Mm -hmm. Now, they ain't going to steal your shit, the comics. 
but their writers Will. are sitting. In, I'm talking about they sitting in the in the, in the place in Hollywood with, notebook. with a notepad, notebook. yeah, mm. and they writing your shit down. Keenan. So they take it and they sell it yeah. to their artists, mm. and then the artists do it, and they don't know mm. that it's your well, shit. DC, you know, back in the day in, in Hollywood, you would do a joke. And the, the, the guys who are ahead of you would go to TV with it, and they say it's the first one. The with, next night, first man. one with first right, one right, TV right, on right. the joke. Hey, first one on TV on the joke. So man. when you on the road say the joke, they say, "Oh, you got that from Keenan." And Keenan ain't thought of this shit. No. Keenan used to blame Kenan his got writers it from me, Kenan. but you can't really blame Keenan, right? Because the writers that write for Keenan are sitting in the clubs in Hollywood. I'm talking about literally, man, with, with a notebook. notebook. He had all 11 of them, all 14 of them sitting in there. Last, last so, Thursday. Last so do you think that's the issue with him and no, Cedric? No, Cat's a good because, salesman. Cat, because Cat is saying that well, Cedric Well, Cat stole is saying one-on-one -on -one that Cedric was at. And I was in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I was in, or last weekend, I was in uh, Houston. Houston. 7,000 people in Chicago, 11,000 with Cedric and DL. Hey. I think Cedric is talented myself. Right. Now he's talking about punching his stomach. He is fat. But he don't want to mess with Cedric. That was funny. That was funny. <laughs> Cedric ain't no joke. Man. I like Cedric, right. but that was But I've funny. always thought Cedric was a talented brother. Right. And uh, I've always thought he could dance. He can dance. Mm. And, uh, you know. He's an entertainer. He's an entertainer. Yeah, man. Oh no, I don't even know Cedric's real last name. I know a lot of them. But can we can we all kind of agree? Even though Shannon Sharp has had a lot of guests on, it's probably one of his best shows he's ever did. Like it's definitely. I can't think. I can't think of a better one. He's had some good shows. Yeah, he's had some good shows, but it might be the best one. It was about three hours, wasn't it? I ain't watched it. Two hours. It was two hours and forty-two minutes. I watched it about thirty, forty minutes. I said, I ain't got time to sit through. I hit the thing to see how much longer. And it was like two more hours. DC, two more hours. Let's be straight. So, can we agree upon that? Cat is self-promoted, self-produced. Cat knows how to sell. That's what Cat is doing. So, so Cat knows this I controversy is going to make people come okay. out and see it. Okay, Bo, you remember after we went there. So a few days after you and I sat there and listened to him seven, eight hours, he was coming to my house. Right. And uh, had a little car issue. Right. <laughs> and uh, so while we were waiting on the car issue to be remedied, we were just talking. I said, Cat, you know you owe me $500. And this true story, back in the day, we were both doing, I think it was Comedy Central specials, or it may have been Def Jam or something, I don't know. But anyway, we were in New York, and at the after party, they had given Cat a check. Cat thought they were going to give him cash. Hmm. So we were at the after party, and Cat didn't have no cash. <laughs> so I gave Cat $500. So I told Cat that night, I said, hey, man, you know you owe me $500. <laughs> Cat said, no, I don't remember DZ from where. So I told him from where. He said, Is that true? I said, Yes, nigga. You didn't have no money. <laughs> I gave you $500. He said, Have you told anybody? <laughs> I said, No, I don't roll like that. Why would I tell somebody that you owe me $500? He said, DC, this is what Cat Williams said. DC, that's the difference between you and me. He said, That's why you a great comedian. But I'm famous. Right. Oh, he said, sure if you did. tell somebody that, you have five million hits tonight. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. Because he don't mind up. stitching it out. He'll, right, tell right. Him, he'll tell him. He don't mind. I mean, we had an issue where TMZ called us about him. Remember? Yeah. They talking about and we we could have we went to TMZ straight ourselves straight and got the money. But we when, called him. When they first called me, they said, DC, you got any footage? I said, I don't know what the hell you talking about. I, right. I have been in an incident right, right, with right. Cat. And I said, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I hung up the phone. I called Cat. I said, Cat, these motherfuckers called me and offered me $25,000 to tell them what happened tonight. Right. He said, well, hell, tell them. Yeah. He said, they want footage. I ain't got no footage. He said, I'll record the whole thing. I'll send it to you. Right. I said, well, oh. well, split the money. He said, I don't want the money. Give it to him. Yeah. Man, he sent me the footage. I got it on my phone now. Right. <laughs> I called TMZ. They said, we already got it from the police. I said, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Twenty-five down the drain, <laughs> but that's how cat is. He like, hey man, tell him call him back. But, but but in that but in that in that breath, you know, you took that time to have the honor um, amongst your uh, amongst your comedic partners to say, hey man, let me check. I can't move my, move my boy before I just go out here and put this 
Hey man, the word is bond with me. That's right. Do you do you feel that Cat may have stepped over the line with the Ricky Smileys and the Cedric to the Entertainers? Or was this uh this this interview was just something that this just some cat being? I'm gonna tell you something about almost everything he said. I knew about it. I wouldn't have said it. But it's pretty much true. Yeah. <laughs> right, so but where do you, you know, you would, like you said, you wouldn't have said it, but everybody's different. I wouldn't right. have said it because I know something about all y'all that I won't say. I appreciate because that. Because it, it would ruin <laughs> y'all's relationships. It would ruin your marriage. It would ruin you. wouldn't be a pastor no more. Never again. Never. <laughs> you ain't got to emphasize all that, bro. I'm like, God damn, bro. Like, like since, dang, since, bro. Like, since since JJ, like, God damn, since bro. Since JJ put them eyes on me, I don't know nothing about you, <laughs> Sister JJ. <laughs> Bo, if I told everything I knew about you, boy. Hey, you'd be rich. <laughs> you would not be rich. I wouldn't be rich. You would not be rich. Be broke. <laughs> <laughs> My partner down at the cigar bar just stepped in the room. Brian Bullway. B. Yeah, man. Big Brian, if y'all haven't been, y'all need to go downstairs. To what up, B? Turn your damn phone off, Rem. <sighs> I thought I had it Go downstairs to Wise Ash. We'll be right back. You're listening to this race. <laughs> 